Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we're doing a new episode and we're going to do an episode on John Browning's last lever action design that I know of, the 1895. Now the 1895 come out in 1895. Come in a variety of calibers, just those in just a minute. All right, so the 1895 was right after the 94. So it's kind of a similar uh, action, except for it uses a uh, a box magazine. The one we're looking at is in caliber 405, which is a big old cartridge right here. So anyhow, it's a Browning uh, design gun. This cartridge is 405 Winchester. This particular hollow point right here is a Barnes bu X bullet. And... Uh, we're going to try it out and see how good she does. Winchester Lever Action Model 1895. Introduced in 1895, discontinued in 1936. It was the first successful box magazine designed lever action repeater. It was manufactured in a variety of calibers, including the 6mm U.S. Navy rimless and regularly come equipped with a 28 inch round barrel five shot magazine. The 6mm was not brought out until late 1895. March 26, 1896 standard calibers included the 3872 and 275 grain bullet, the 4072 and 330 grain bullet, and the same length of barrel, which was 28 inches and 26 inches. The 3040 Craig come out with a 28 inch barrel only, and the new receiver improved for strength and a six shot magazine in 3040 Craig with a 28 inch round nickel steel barrel. It was also produced in 30, uh, 303 British and 33 Winchester. 35 Winchester and later with both of those with a 24 inch nickel steel barrel. The 405 Winchester was added in 1914. 30 government model 1903 was added around 1904 and the 30 government model 1906 was a uh, part of the line around 1908, which was the 30-06, which around 300,000 1895s were sent to Russia in caliber 7.62 mm Russian. It's a very beautiful gun. You can see the internals right there. It's a nice, uh, sturdy gun. I really like the way it's designed. This particular model belongs to my brother and I want to thank him for letting me uh, show it to y'all. I eventually want to get one myself. It's interesting how the lever runs on both sides of the box magazine. Giving you another angle of how it looks. It's a really beautiful gun. And the lever is two pieces because it it locks closed so it cannot uh, be blown open by the pressure of the uh, cartridge or anything. I know several people have rechambered theirs for 30 wheeling. I'm sorry, 35 wheeling. And of course, Browning come out with some in 270. And that would be, I guess, an interesting caliber. All right, here's a quick look at how the action works. You can see the you can actually see daylight between the where the where lever comes down when it's just see how that all the stuff comes out the bottom it's really cool it's uh john browning designed it to you know work them really long cartridges which is a little over three inches long 3.2 um 10 and uh these right here are i mean it's smooth as it can be it's a really smooth action and it's well designed and it's really cool. Let's see how you load it. Okay, here's how you load this thing. Take your 
cartridges, stick them in here, tilt them down like that. Yep, that's it. Pretty neat looking boogers, aren't they? Super smooth action on this thing. Let me show you comparison. 3030 versus this 405. Here's the jugs of water we're going to be shooting through. We're going to shoot them into this. Uh, if it goes through all those jugs, it'll go into that wet pants. We're starting out. I mean, we're starting out with one of these uh, barn solid copper 300 grain bullets. It's a hollow point. And another thing I wanted to mention is how this right here lever locks up. This lever locks right there when you bring it all the way up. So the gun cannot push the lever down. It can't be pushed down. When you pull on this right here, it unlocks it. All right, let's get started. Here goes the 405 Winchester at this water jug. I think it blew some of them up. Hopefully we captured that bullet. Yeah, that primer looks good on there. All right, let's check out this carnage. Let's see what we did. Well, this one has a hole inside, in and out. This one here was blown up pretty good. There's one over there that was blown up. One over there that was blown up. So that's one, two, three, four. It's going through this one. And it stopped in this one. There's the, there's the nose of it sticking out. You see it right there? It did not quite come out. So let's pop it on back in there. So it almost went through all of them. Ahead and want these pants to be good and wet for fixing the seat. Look at that bullet right there. Thing expanded out good. Had plenty of power on that baby. So uh let's shoot these ballistic pants and see how good it goes through same bullet well actually on this one we're going to try out uh, let me show you what we're trying out we're going to try out the soft point versus the hollow point both of them are 300 grain bullets so let's get started on them we're going to shoot the uh the hollow point on this side and the soft point on that side and just kind of see how far it goes through all right let's get started on that all right somehow we didn't get the camera didn't come on when we shot the soft point and the hollow point so we're going to shoot one more soft point or hollow point just so you can see the gun being fired at these ballistic wet pants at these ballistic wet pants So, there's going to be three bullets going through here instead of just one. So we fired one here, one right here, and then one up here. So, there you got it. Wow. 
Wow, them are big holes. This in here is not quite as big. This a little bit smaller. Look at the size of these things going through here. These things are huge. Them are some big old wound channels. Look at the indentions it's putting into it. Look at that. I mean, that's, you can tell the damage is out like this far. Still don't see any signs of them stopping. I wonder if they went all the way through. They're getting smaller. I think they're slowing down. I think. Well, no. They're definitely slowing down. They're still doing a number on it, though. Wow, they might go. They might have went all the way through. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like they went all the way through. Let's see. Up, oh, yep. There's one right there in that wood. Look at that. It's still warm. The top one went all the way through. Stabbed in that wood. He expanded pretty good. Let's finish looking through here. Up, oh, that saw point stopped first but look at the size of that booger look at the size of that oh, soft point so it stopped right here it went through that much pants so but we got those two bullets out let's look for that other bullet in here or not? Well, I guess it went all the way through. But now we got to find it. Well, that's just some pieces of copper from something else I saw. I'm going to pause y'all for a second while I find that bullet. First, I'll look around real quick see if I see anything obvious. I don't, I don't see a, I don't see a big wound on here. There, there, well, there's something right there, but I think that's that other one. So, I'm going to pause the camera and look around, and I'll bring y'all right back as soon as I find anything or don't find anything. All right, we never did find that bullet. Here are these two beauties. Okay, since this is a dangerous game rifle, we're going to shoot through this uh, shoulder blade bone and this piece of three-quarter inch plywood and then into all the wet pants and see how well the bullet fares after hitting that hard stuff in the beginning, like if you were shooting something that was really tough. Put this big old ball joint right here too. Try to assimilate going to a lot of bone. Already shot it with other guns. That's why there's not much left of it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna test this gun out with these bullets a little bit, and so stay tuned for some more episodes. All right, let's load this baby up. Maybe you just kind of rock them over, push them down, rock them over, push them down, rock them over. And that baby just loads up so smooth. I don't know if it hits to the point of aim. It should at this close, you'd think. I 
All right, here it goes, right through that phone, hopefully. So it blew right through that. It smelled like bone meal out here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Three quarter inch plywood. Let's see what she did. The other one went all the way through these bridges. Steel trucking. The uh, soft point, like four bridges are getting all the way through. Where the other one of these hollow points went all the way through. Let's see. Huh? Not sure. Like it might have stopped. Hmm. There it is right there. It definitely, definitely slowed it down. Looks like. It was traveling the last little bit backwards through there. It definitely slowed it down. Hitting that bone and that wood. But you know, that'd be like running into the front end of a Cape Buffalo or something. Broke one of the ears off, but it went through that much britches after going through that. All right, now I want to see what this bad boy will do if it hits water first and then all those wet pants. So let's try it shooting to this milk jug. That's such a smooth action. Super smooth. Okay, let's check out this carnage here. Blew that milk jug all the pieces, obviously. And I'm assuming that would cause that bullet to expand. But I could be wrong. It's not really it's not really what I thought it was going to do. It's actually doing the most pitiful hole I've seen yet. I mean, that's definitely a lot smaller hole. What was that? That's the bullet. That's the bullet. It didn't go very far at all. Huh. Definitely expanded out, but that was the most pitiful. Look at here. Riches, which is only nine inches after hitting the water first. Just shows you how hard water is to get through. It expanded out really good and looks beautiful. Let me put all these side by side and let's get a picture, of, or a good look at them. It actually expanded better, is why it didn't penetrate as far is the first one. Okay, let's take a look at these bullets. This is the first one we shot through all just the wet pants and it's expanded out fairly good. This is the one, the soft point we shot through the wet pants which stopped four pair of pants before this one because this one went all the way through and hit the wood on the back. And the other one went off in the wild blue yonder. We don't know where. We, if you watch the high speed, you can see bark and stuff flying up in the air. Okay. This is the water jug. And then the ballistic material. This is the bone and wood first. And then the ballistic material. And this is the saw point. And the saw point, I'm not sure if it expanded better, but that is sure a pretty shiny bullet so anyhow 
that's kind of what you have. Let's put all these together so you can see them all at once. That's kind of what you have. Now these bullets have a lot more shank on them, so they're going to definitely, definitely go through more. Now they're not going as fast as this one. These right here are only uh, on Barnes' uh, website is uh, 2,100 and something feet a second, which we'll test velocity later. But we have some uh, Barnes hollow point 41 caliber pistol bullets coming that we're going to test out in this.